and I'm a singer-songwriter based out of southern Saskatchewan. Go, I got, well, it was almost three, three years ago now. I, uh, I played a show in a, in a little hamlet in southern Saskatchewan in, the, in an old church and I just really fell in love with the place and I asked if there was any rooms to rent in the area and they, sure enough there was and so I moved down there and I ended up writing an album in this 100 and August, it's a 102 year old church now. Uh, but it was really, it was a, yeah, I don't know. I wrote like nine songs in three months, which is like, was a gift. That was a blessing because I never, haven't been able to do that since. <laughs> um, my songwriting process goes like this. <laughs> cut that, cut that, oh, no, um, well, it involves getting really obsessed, I guess, with like an idea or a thought or a melody, um, and I like to use a loop or two, so if I get like a guitar riff or something, I'll loop that and just listen to it over and over and over and over, and I, actually that's how I wrote Deerhead, is I just like those, like those three chords I just looped, and I just, just remember being in the, the church in Palmer in the middle of nowhere with that on the loop. Just uh, almost like, just, yeah, just really driving into my brain to get some news. Most recently, I've been collaborating with Bears and Hazen Moore. Uh, we've been doing some touring through Ontario and Quebec, and we've played a uh, Breakout West, a festival associated with the Western Canadian Music Awards. That was our first like full band set together and it felt really good. It was a lot of fun and, and we recorded a, a song, a track actually off my last album, Song Harvest Volume 1. We did a full band version of it. It's called Wait. On saxophone we have Pisces, Dana Ruffle. We have a very watery horn section. Here's a Scorpio. Trumpet, everybody. We have the same birthday. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good playing with the full band, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it wrong to be invisible tonight? 